May 14, 1948, 4 p.m. Tel Aviv. On a small podium stands a determined Zionist leader before a hastily convened gathering, reading out a proclamation which would change the course of history. This is how the state of Israel was born. First, a bit of background. At the end of World War I, the Allied powers gained control over the Middle East, including the land of Israel. The League of Nations recognized the historical connection of the Jewish people to their land and granted Great Britain a mandate to help them reconstitute a national home. However, Arab riots and geopolitical considerations led to a series of British restrictions on Jewish development and immigration. Even ships, including displaced children and Holocaust survivors, were sent back to Europe. Jewish resistance grew as well. By 1947, the ball was back in the United Nations court, where a majority of the nations decided on November 29th, after a tense vote, to divide the land into a Jewish and an Arab state. The Jews rejoiced. The local Arab population, well, they launched a war throughout the country. May 15, 1948 was the date the British mandate officially ended, the date the Jewish state was to be declared, and the date five regular Arab armies planned a coordinated attack to annihilate the newborn state. On May 12th, David Ben-Gurion convened the People's Council. The atmosphere was grave. Moshe Sharet reported that the Americans are demanding a postponement of the declaration or else they would not help Israel against the United Arab invasion. Golda Meir reported that King Abdullah had retracted his original agreement and will join the attack. Military leaders expressed serious doubts about the ability of the small Jewish community to withstand five regular Arab armies equipped with European weaponry. But somehow, after 13 hours of deliberations, Ben-Gurion succeeds in swaying the balance against the American demand. And on Friday, May 14th, in the presence of local Jewish leaders, he declares the establishment of the State of Israel. The proclamation, which was inspired by the American Declaration of Independence, asserted the historical and moral rights of the Jewish people in its historic homeland and defined Israel as a Jewish democratic state based on equal rights, freedom, and justice. The declaration ended with a call on Jews to return home and extended a hand for peace towards the local Arab population and neighboring Arab countries. The Arab invasion was immediate and lasted for over a year. Close to 50% of Israel's small fighting force were survivors of the Nazi death camps who vowed never again. One out of every hundred Jews living in Israel died in the fighting. But by the end of the war, the small Jewish state had emerged victorious as an independent nation in this homeland for the first time in 2,000 years.